Hi, I can't get my intro right today for some reason, so I'm going to keep it short this time. Thank you for joining me at Gillian's Artflow for the first video of 2022, subscribers new and old. This was a brilliant exploration. There are a couple of hiccups in it, but I'll talk about them when we come to them. Just sit back and enjoy. Oh, don't forget to stay till the end when we've got the news segment. I'll see you in a little bit. I have no idea why I decided to lay the paints that way. What I meant to do was lay them on the opposite end that I'd already done it and then swipe back into the middle. Um, and I don't even know why when I realised what I was doing, I didn't stop. I think I just went, oh, let's go and see what happens. It didn't work, not for me anyway.
this point, I decided it was too dark on that edge. And I realised if I tried to correct it, it wouldn't look blended in. It would look... You, I, I convinced you'd have been able to tell. So it was basically clear it down and then, as you can see, add paint onto that side. It worked. Sometimes you've got to take a step backwards to take five steps forward. Welcome to the chunterings of an artist. Isn't it gorgeous? I found with this painting you've really got to be quite up close and in its face to really see all the colours that are in there. There's a splash of orange down here that you can only see as you in the close-up. So and I think that is sort of a nice that's a surprise when you get there. I have had mixed feedback on this painting. I have had a, oh, I don't like it really. The line thing is too prominent to, wow, I'm loving it. So, you know, some people do, some people don't. <laughs> what did I use? Arteza. So I have I have these Arteza Iridescent Dream Tones and yes they lived up to their name of Iridescence, they were Arteza, they were lovely to work with. As you saw in the video I took them straight out of the little bottles, I didn't mix but I know from previous experience with Arteza you have to mix them that little bit longer. I also used, here we have it, the Number four, can you hear? Yeah. The number four wedge to make the lines. It's interesting doing it this way. Normally I would put my modelling paste on, but this time I didn't. And I love the effect. I call it cactus, isn't it obvious? Although it's not actually the square, like you normally see a picture of a cactus, it looks like somebody with their arms up. Um, and indeed, there's a yoga pose called cactus arms. But if you look at a cactus, they don't only grow that way. So it just reminded me because of the sparseness of the lines. I like it. Um... I haven't varnished it and to be honest I don't know if I will varnish it. It will depend if I sell it then and the person who's buying it wants it varnished. Yeah, I'll varnish and if I do that I'll show you a video of it. Um, I spray varnish because to be quite frank with you I'm crap at doing it any other way. I've tried all the different ways, watched so many videos on it and I still I don't like the finish, so um, yeah, I'll, if I varnish I'll show you, I just use a spray varnish and just, just varnish it that way, give it a couple of coats. 
Um, give me your thoughts on it down in the comments below. If you've used the Arteza iridescent paints, let me know what you think of them. Do you like them? Would you use them again? Do you find them a bit too much? And um, let me know if you're going to start playing with a, with a, a catalyst wedge. Until I see you in the next video, you take care and stay safe. And I'll see you next week. Bye. Okay, let's see if I can do this. Lift up, move that way and move in. Ooh.